You know, most of us that ride motorcycles like our motorcycles to be loud and fast. But is that what I really need? And is that what you really need? Stick around and find out. Hello everyone, my name is Ty and welcome to the channel. I appreciate you joining me today. Let me just start by saying this, that if you are a returning subscriber, man, I appreciate you so very much. You guys come back week after week, video after video, every time I publish something and watch it, carve out time out of your day. And man, I just, I am really grateful for that. And if you're a new subscriber, let me just say welcome. I am glad that you are here with us today. So let's start the conversation on the topic of motorcycle trends, okay? Now back in the day, and I'm thinking maybe the early 2000s, do you guys remember the trend that was the new hotness for motorcycles? It was choppers. It was absolutely choppers, man. They were hot back then. And do you happen to remember why? It, well, if you ever turned on the Discovery Channel, you were gonna see Orange County choppers. A lot of the time when I'm working on the fabrication on these bikes, my father likes to hover. Everyone wanted an Orange County chopper, including myself. And what a great time for motorcycling, really. And then you fast forward all these years later, and now we're sitting in the middle of another trend. And that trend is performance baggers. And so we're, now we're seeing those everywhere and if you guys uh, ever well now things have shifted from watching tv to watching youtube but if you ever turn on youtube and do a search for performance baggers i bet you i bet you anything you're gonna run across moonshine harley davidson now those guys they seem to be on the on the front line of creating some outstanding motorcycle upgrades i mean they really do couldn't see her on that stop sign. They really do some great things. And uh, very impressive work. I mean, really impressive work. Now, before we get too far into the conversation, let me go ahead and tell you this. Let me tell you what I'm saying and what I am not saying. I am not telling you that you should get a stage two, that you should modify your engine in any way. And I'm also not telling you that you shouldn't. We are just having a conversation and we are going on a fact finding mission together. That's all there is to it. All right, so there are three points of interest that I want us to talk about. Number one, not in any particular order here, but number one is gonna be cost. Number two is time. And number three is practicality. We're gonna touch very briefly on all three of those things because I think they're important. Not only if you're thinking about a stage two for a low rider ST, but maybe you've got a bagger, maybe you've got a street glider or a road glider and you wanna do something on that as well. I think these three categories fit the topic of conversation, absolutely. Okay, let's start with the topic of cost because for many of us, I would say that is the number one most important factor, right? If the cost of the upgrade is out of the budget or just not a possibility, there's no point of even talking about the other two things. So when it comes to cost, now I have, I'm shopping this around. Let me just say that, I'm shopping this around. I haven't decided who's gonna do the work, getting some pricing, getting some quotes, because look, I've got to pay for this myself. I'm not some fancy YouTuber who's going to get uh, all this stuff for free. This is coming out of my pocket, right? So I got to make sure it's done, it's done right, and it's done the way that I want to. So I have spoken to Moonshine and just got a, um, a, brief, uh, a brief highlight on what they do and how much it's going to cost. Now, the good thing for me when it comes to this Lowrider ST is part of the stage two, you know, is a new exhaust. And a lot of people like the uh, two into one. I've got a Bassani two into one on this one. Thrash and Supply, you need to check out their video that they've got on YouTube. I'm sorry, Moonshine Harley Davidson. If you check out their video on YouTube, they're doing a Thrash and Supply two into one. So that's gonna save me a little bit of money right from the start. I've already got the two into one on this motorcycle and I already have a tuner from when I had that two into one installed. So that's gonna save, I don't know, probably uh, anywhere from $1,500 to 
right there. So what Moonshine told me is that for the stage two, if I mean they can go as high as you want to, but you're looking at about uh, anywhere from 5,000 to 5,500 all in on their stage two. The cool thing about it is they keep everything in stock and once you pull the trigger and tell them that you're gonna go, they can actually do it pretty quick and get it installed. Um, so uh, just a lot of lot of value there, really. They're close to home, you know, but again, I am shopping it around. All right, now let's talk about time because any of these that you do, you're gonna be without your motorcycle for a little bit of time. And I would probably say the cheaper you go, the less amount of time you're going to be out with your with your bike. Again, the stage two for the Lowrider ST, you're probably looking at a couple of days. You know, you do something like a I don't know that crazy 131 that I mentioned, or you know something that's more invasive where they have to take ponets apart and upgrade them and put them back together. You're going to be looking at probably quite a bit of time away from your motorcycle with your motorcycle in the shop and again i know it's going to depend depend on parts availability and you know how streamlined the shop or the dealership is you're you're looking at so i, I get there's some variables there a couple of years ago i had my local dealership do a stage three on a street glide that i had i had this beautiful tahitian till street glide and that one went from like a 107 to a 121 or a 122. And they had my bike for about four days doing the work. So, and not that bad, not that bad either way. But you are gonna be with your bike, without your bike for a little bit of time. So factor that in, have a little bit of patience. All right, now let's talk about that all important category of practicality. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times in my videos, I am just your everyday average ordinary rider. I really am. I don't ride too fast, I don't go crazy, but the more I ride the low rider ST, the more I want to feel the power of the motorcycle. And if I can get more horsepower and more torque, oh man, then I am gonna be all in. I mean, I hadn't even probably touched really what this 117 can do, but it sure would be fun to have a little bit of extra. And with the numbers that Moonshine is talking about, I mean, oh boy, I'm going by memory here, but I think they're talking about, you know, from stock, you're going up on the Lowrider ST to about 136, uh, 135 on the torque, maybe 124 on the horsepower, something like that, but just a big increase a big boost of numbers and uh, power and quite honestly that's very very appealing to me because uh, it would just be a lot of fun I mean let's just let's just boil it down to it it would be a lot of fun and you got to think about if you are going to use it you know I, with a part of country that that I live in there are a lot of twisties there's a lot of twists and turns beautiful scenery mountains that you're going up and over a lot of places that you can really use that power and so heck yeah man i am all in and if i can make it happen i am super looking forward to it but i tell you what some of you guys who have been through this before maybe you've got a stage two on your low rider st maybe you've got a stage two on your street glider or road glide i would love to hear from you with any advice that you have please drop that in the comments below and let's have a discussion let me let me learn from you man so does this lowrider st need a stage two no absolutely not it doesn't do do i want a stage two yes absolutely i do is this one of those situations for me or for you can you check all those boxes cost time practicality if everything lines up and it works out for you and you've got the cash to do it and i say go for it go for it and have a great time with your motorcycle that's why we bought them that's why we ride them because we love them and we like to have fun on them well i promise i will keep you guys posted as the situation develops it will be a few months before i'm able to pull the trigger i'm still doing my research and planning everything out but when i know you will know absolutely without a doubt 
thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me if you enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up and subscribe you guys ride safe and i'll see you in the next one